All right, so we're checking out the only game where you get to see what happens when you throw a curveball at the Earth at one trillion times light speed. It's Universe Sandbox. It seems like every time we play this game, I make more and more crazier shit happen. But today I want to throw a curveball at our normally scheduled programming and literally throw a curveball at the Earth. But I'm going to do something a little different. I would just like to let everyone know that today's apocalyptic baseball match is sponsored by Raycon. But since talking about them would be boring, we're going to run them over with a freaking lawnmower. More on that later. I'll probably change the size of the baseball to make it like freakishly big, like moon size, just so that we could see it a little bit easier. But eventually I want a normal sized baseball traveling at a normal speed, but just spinning so fast that that itself could destroy the entire earth. I don't mean like I want the earth to just melt. I want to turn it into dust. So over here in the random crap area, there is legitimately a baseball. Now, obviously I could throw this baseball ball at the earth at a billion times light speed but today I want to have it be a curveball instead of a fastball I want to see what happens when I throw a baseball at the earth but it's spinning from its curve at 100 billion times light speed now as always you need a baseline so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with a normal sized baseball and I'm gonna see if I make this thing rotate just at ridiculous speeds if it can destroy the earth moving at a normal curveball speed. What is a normal curveball speed? I... I have... Let's ask Google. All right, Tiffany, you're up. Hey, Google, how fast does a Major League Baseball pitcher throw a curveball? According to Wikipedia, a typical curveball in the major collegiate level and above will average between 65 and 80 miles per hour, with the average MLB curve at 77 miles per hour. Wow, I really... I wasn't expecting anything that specific. That's probably the first time you've ever answered me on the first question. Thank you. But there you go. Google says it's true. It must be. Alrighty. So you get a baseball going here. Now, obviously, just throwing this baseball at the earth with no spin won't really do anything. So I guess we'll do a baseball moving at light speed to see if there's really any destruction that's caused at all. And then we'll have it going 80 miles an hour forward, but spinning at multiple, multiple light speeds. Effectively, I want to know if it'll turn into like a little drill bit and just drill the earth in half. Alrighty motion speed uh yes here we go holy sh well things moved a lot faster than i had previously anticipated our good buddy ball buster flew through the earth with the greatest of ease so fast that i didn't even have time to take my hand off the freaking pause button all right let's see what a light speed baseball would do to the earth this baseball i wanted to do this slower so we could actually see what the hell it does it doesn't even have any curve on it yet. Look at it, it can't even hold a straight line. All right, and finally we're coming in hot. There's the pitch. Holy piss. So the baseball moving at light speed hit the earth. Uh, nothing happened at first. And I moved the speed up a little bit and the entire atmosphere just vaporized. Um, it's not looking good. Okay, unfortunately, everyone is dead. Ah, the rain of fire. I like how it appeared over here for some reason. You can see the glistening particulates of the light speed fastball flowing all throughout the earth. I think that it may have actually knocked the earth off of its orbit to it. Did. Okay, so a light speed fastball could kill us all, but simply by vaporizing all the water. It didn't blow up the planet, and thus, it's time to throw a little curve on it. All right, since this earth is about to die, um, I decided to name it Fortnite. All right, where's my baseball at? It's time to use this damn thing like a Dremel. Okay, so we want th this thing moving about 128 kilometers per hour. However, the rotational speed will be one light speed. Actually, you know what? We already did one light speed. 10 light speed. Call this baseball Steven. Always make sure to save often. Go, Steven! 
These are my everyday E25 earbuds. This is my lawnmower. Do you know who likes Raycon everyday E25 earbuds? It's Rich the Kid. Do you know who's never run over their everyday E25 earbuds with a freaking lawnmower? It's also Rich the Kid. Raycon earbuds come in a wide variety of fun colors and patterns. I like red though because you can really see it when it comes flying out the grass shoot of the lawnmower. They sound just as amazing as many other top audio brands, but they start at half the price so you can fill your yard with all kinds of different colors. The Everyday E25 earbuds are their best ones yet. They've got six hours of play time, which is plenty while you sweat your ass off as you mow the yard. They've got more bass. I love using my Raycon Everyday E25 earbuds for mowing the lawn because even though my lawn mower is loud as hell, they have a nice noise isolating fit. Now let's run them over with the mower. Imagine this, you have your Everyday E25 earbuds hooked up to the Bluetooth when all of a sudden, oh no, they should accidentally fall in front of the lawn mower. See, they're fine. Raycon has a 45 day free return policy. And if you want, go to buyraycon.com slash graystillplays. You get 15% off your order. Thanks for sponsoring my crazy ass Raycon. Ow. Absolutely nothing happened. Apparently 10 times light speed of a curveball is rookie numbers. All right, screw it. 1,000 times light speed. I swear to God, Steven, people want to see explosions. You better tear this freaking planet apart. Go. Okay, there that was the curve right there. Did you see it? It was making like a freaking button hook. Anything? Hmm. I think all it did was just screw up global warming. Like a lightning storm going on top of the earth now. We're not stopping until ridiculous shit happens. I don't care what it takes. Alright, screw it. One million times light speed. Come on, Steven. Twist, damn you. What the hell? Look at the surface temperature! <laughs> Holy shit! I mean, if nothing else, I guess it'll hit the planet at, you know, 4.9 gajillion degrees. So... <laughs> something I did because nothing cool was happening with the, uh, with the normal size baseball spin. I decided to make the baseball, you know, a little bit bigger. I think that this is what we're gonna do from now on because the spin of the baseball. It's like a friggin' drill bit on the earth. Look at what's happening around it. Do it, Steven. Do it. Oh my God. When you look at the surface of the earth, it's not too good. I have to slow things down so much because the spin of the baseball has made it so that the planet is now spinning at like how fast is the planet spinning right now? 756 times light speed. All right, let's go ahead and speed back up here just to see what this actually does to the planet. Look at all the fragments. <laughs> Went over to Steve and I was like, the earth called you a bitch. And Steve was like, what? Yes. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Man, it's like the 4th of July out here. This looks pretty good. I guess the big question I have is Florida still alive? That's mostly all I care about right now. Obviously everyone's pretty screwed, but I got bad news. Florida is melting. So where the baseball hit, it transferred all of its spinning energy to the earth and it just shattered into a bazillion pieces. Each of these pieces are 1700 degrees Celsius. And there they go. That said, despite what we just had happen, the earth is still, you know, it's there. It's a little colder nowadays. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go with one billion times light speed. Do it, Steven. Make Fortnite glow. So I am slowed down as much as possible right now. Steven immediately vaporized and you can see there's actually a strip where it tore away all of the water in a circle around the earth. Okay, now the very first chunk has appeared like a little blast area. That's interesting, like everything froze and then it gave water back to Earth. I thought it gave water back to Earth. What the hell have I done? It's like a bunch of cross country skiing tracks all over the Earth. Look at it, there's like trenches everywhere. This weird pattern. Uh, I like how the maximum temperature on the Earth is this much, right? Um, but it's nowhere to be found on here and most of the temperature of the earth is not a number. The total water mass 
is also positive infinity. It's almost like the temperature on the Earth is just some random number at this point. Interestingly, the radius is still exactly the same. Problem here is that the Earth is still in one piece. That means it's not awesome enough. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna throw a baseball, but it's going to be as big as the moon. It's actually kind of awesome. So that that's how much a baseball the size of the moon would weigh. Whatever. Whatever this number is. I'm gonna call you Steven Senior. I like how it just decided what the rotational speed is. It's this, whatever this is. It's a 4.6 billion light speed, in case you were wondering. Go ahead and slow things down here, like a lot. Okay, I've got it slowed down as much as possible. So now we actually get to legitimately see what happens just as this curveball, which is spinning 4.8 billion you know, light speed does to the surface of the earth. Now, now nothing's happened yet because it's so slow. It is actually inside of the earth though. This is a deep penetration of Fortnite. Right, I'm gonna slowly start moving things along here. Don't wanna increase it too fast. Oh, what the hell? I thought it had, you know, like slowed down its rotation. I was wrong. Holy piss. I don't know what's going on, but the rotation is throwing stuff out of the back of the planet. Is everyone still alive? Yes, everyone is still alive. Although people are dying very, very quickly. I love how my curveball hit over here between like Africa and the UK and everyone on this side of the planet is the one paying for it. For the first time ever, it's Australia. Okay, the earth is beginning to spew forth a cloud of blood. What's the temperature on the earth right now? It's 844 degrees Celsius. At 67, 69, 7,000 degrees Celsius. Look at the perfect phallus of earth particles coming out of it. Just like vomiting out all this area. Oh, what the sh- What just happened? It's like Steven Senior just got a thousand times bigger. The earth is still in there. I still get to see it. Look at what's happening to the baseball. <laughs> it's hunger knows no bounds. It keeps expanding. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's gonna take over the entire solar system. This is interesting. We have uh, three different colorations on Earth right now. The impact zone is just scorched. Then you have the ring of molten lava. And then you have like this area over here that looks okay. I, I don't know why. Okay, now things are getting really bad on Earth. Oh, I'm sorry, Fortnite. Like when I say really bad, this is the type of bad I'm talking about. Fortnite has turned up into a shriveled old man. Don't give up, Fortnite. You still have life left in you. It's like the exorcist or something. The head of the planet keeps spinning around while it's vomiting. <laughs> okay, I think, I think the planet might be saved. The only problem is that the radius of Earth is now 95 kilometers. Okay, it's cooling down. Oh, Jesus. I got some really bad news. Fortnite didn't make it. Okay, hitting the Earth with a big ass baseball is cool, but I we have to destroy Earth. I wanna vaporize Earth with just a normal size baseball. How fast can I make this? We're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. A few moments later. We're gonna put 69 zeros in here. All I want is for Steven Jr. to follow in his father's footsteps and kill us all. We are now moving 169 alien light speed. Go. Oh. Okay, that's exciting. So the atmosphere of the earth has immediately disappeared. I like how it just smacked away all the cloud cover. Is everyone, no, everyone is dead. Okay, so so far 69 zeros of light speed is the answer. It hasn't blown up yet. It may just take a second, you never know. Sometimes the Earth takes a moment to realize that it's dead. Remember how I said sometimes it takes a second to realize the Earth is dead? It realized it. I mean, we're moving at like two seconds a second and it's still, I mean, it's still here. It's just made out of burning regret. Holy sh I like how the back end of the planet finally decided to blow out. Oh. There's like more than one explosion. I just realized something. Look at all these particles from that pitch. They're scattered throughout the entire universe. Oh, my Earth has like a halo. It's a beautiful angel. Fortnite, you will ascend to heaven. Just wanted to see what the displacement is like. I like how the displacement, there's literally nothing left. Like that, it's an after image, like a Goku level after image. There's nothing here. The elevation says that there's still earth left, but I'm not sure that's real. I'm gonna go ahead and 
fast forward just a little bit here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The earth is now see-through. That's amazing. I like it. It's like an x-ray. Oh, it's not just see-through. It's gone. It just vaporized. So can a normally sized curveball destroy the entire planet? Yes. It just has to have a curve on it of a spin moving at one with 69 zeros times light speed on it. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox. Till next time. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>